All right, guys, so today I am out at one of our neighbor's house. You can actually see Nine Point and Black Hill off in the distance. And he is digging a pond, about a 10,000 square foot pond, about yeah, 20 feet deep or so now at the deepest point. And uh, yeah, he's doing it all with this uh, 1954 Ford Jubilee tractor. It's a 20 horse gasoline tractor with nothing but a box blade on the back and yeah it's pretty amazing actually how much he's gotten moved just with that he uh he let me drive it around a few times i'm not nearly as uh proficient with it as he is but you can see i'm kind of getting stuck going up the hill but it does it does end up going and uh it does quite well i was i was actually surprised when you look at the incline of that uh that hill and the fact that you're dragging like almost 10 cubic feet of dirt that probably weighs about 800 to a thousand pounds behind you you know in that in that box blade it was pretty impressive how much the thing was tugging around um and he told me afterwards that if i would have just lifted up the box blade and let some of the dirt out on the way up that it would have worked better which makes sense except i thought we were trying to get all the dirt up to the top All right, well there you go. Got a 10,000 square foot pond dug down to about eight feet or so deep, 20 feet in some places. Probably enough to hold a half million gallons of water and uh, no team of guys and excavators and dirt movers and all the rest of that. Just one guy and a 65 year old $2,000 tractor with a box blade. So, and a couple weeks worth of time. But it's pretty exciting because it means that we can do the same thing over here. Dude, what the heck are these ants doing? All right, since we were out, we figured we'd stop by the dog man's place. And uh, since I have my drone with me, we're gonna go ahead and fly around real quick and check out the views. So you'll see that uh, it's all OSB. The whole building is basically just clad with OSB. Luckily, we don't have to worry about rain out here. We do have to worry about wind, but he's accounted for that. Um, now, later he's gonna build a roof over top and put some awnings out on the side for some patios and do adobe for siding and all that kind of stuff. 
but for now, he's able to get away with just OSB for, you know, siding. All right, guys, so it is Thursday morning. We're getting ready to put up the final sheets on our building here. We've got one on this side. We've got the little bit above the door, and then we've got this one angle cut over here to fill that one in. And then we're going to get started putting some insulation on this wall inside here, which is also where our power stuff is going to be going, so we're going to be putting plywood over this whole wall. And, oh, for cutting the angles, I always do this. Put these uh, two bys across and just kind of clamp them down so that way I can just run the saw across there quick and I get a perfectly straight cut.